In this week's episode, snow leopards get some new neighbors, ancient wolf-sized otters, a baby whale attempts to get a piggyback ride, and one hungry great white shark grabs a gull. Starting off in California, where an exhausted baby gray whale attempted to get a piggyback ride from its mom. The pair were spotted off the coast of Dana Point and were likely making their way south to Mexico as part of their long yearly journey from Alaska. After such a long trip, it's no wonder the little one needed some help. On to China with the discovery and description of a 6 million year old otter. The enormous creature lived in the valleys and wetlands of southwestern China and weighed in at over 100 pounds. That's as big as a wolf. Staying in China, where snow leopards are getting some unlikely neighbors. Camera traps recently captured images of the common leopard in snow leopard habitat, making it the first time such an overlap has been documented on the Tibetan Plateau. Due to rising temperatures, Himalayan forests are expanding up mountainsides, causing common leopards to move with them and possibly ramping up competition between the two big cats. And a new crab found living in Guam has been named Heriplax Severus, after famed fictional professors Severus Snape and Harry Conley, who first found the crabs back in 1998. Off to the US with a periodical cicada comeback. The noisy creatures make an appearance every 13 to 17 years, depending on the species, and number in the billions. The last time this brood was seen was way back in 2000. The big bugs spend years maturing underground, where the nymphs molt through five growth cycles. And have you ever heard of candy being fed to cows? Well, last week, a truckload of red Skittles spilt across a highway in Wisconsin, and it turns out the sweet treats were on their way to a cattle farm. The practice of using candy as an alternative to corn feed has been used for decades when corn is too expensive or unavailable. Down to Australia, where a zoo has issued an unusual call for help. The Australian Reptile Park in New South Wales is using their Facebook page to ask people to catch instead of kill funnel web spiders as funnel web season gets underway. The park milks the spiders for their venom, which is used in the production of life-saving antivenoms. And 3,000 geese have been killed in Montana after landing in waters contaminated by an abandoned copper mine. It's thought the birds were blown off course by a blizzard and took refuge near the mine's flooded shafts. We're rounding off with this amazing footage of Luca the Great White Shark gulping down an unlucky gull. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.